Hey guys, Ben here, and welcome back to another video on The Flash Season 5. Today we're going to be talking about a mini crossover that's going to be coming up very soon, and also talking a bit about maybe why we haven't been getting as many mini crossovers. I'm talking about just two shows, perhaps like The Flash and Supergirl, or The Flash and Arrow, or something like that, more recently. So, if you do go on to enjoy the video, please be sure to leave a like and a comment, and subscribe if you're new so you don't miss any DC TV videos later this year. Okay, so the crossovers. This is something that all of us DC TV fans can't wait for every year. It's just beyond exciting. And my personal favourite ones are actually not always the big crossovers, although I love the four night crossovers or the three night like this year. But mine are actually those smaller crossovers, and I'm sure some of you may agree with me. But my favourite two crossovers of all time is the Flash and Supergirl ones, I'm talking about the first one that was back in Supergirl Season 1, because at the time I was watching Supergirl, I was watching the Flash, so I started watching Supergirl since the very start, since I think it was October 2015, it was there since the very start, and I was watching it, and I was like, oh I love this show, I wish they would cross over with the Flash or Arrow or anything, because I was watching it at the time, right? But Supergirl was not on the CW, it was on CBS, so I was like, oh, I don't know if it's going to happen. And then I believe it got announced, and I f totally forgot about it because it was a while until we saw the episode. Then I heard the Flash theme song play in the Supergirl episode, and Barry ran out through a breach, and I freaked the hell out, and it's still to this day one of my favourite crossovers, and so is the musical crossover. I class the musical crossover as my favourite episode of all time in DC TV. I know some people don't like it, but it's a great standalone episode, and I just love it so much. So yes, I treasure these small little crossovers, and I'm sure a lot of you guys do. I've heard that the musical crossover is your favourite from a lot of you guys. So why haven't we been getting these recently? Why? I've gone through the internet and sort of got some quotes from a few of the stars of what they had to say. and. We'll talk a bit about my opinion and why I think some of these crossovers haven't been happening and why I think it should happen and why it doesn't really make sense as to why they're not happening. But also, we've got some new information and this is and this information is a new photo and it's on the screen right now. Let's break it down. So we see Joe and Ralph. We see Jesse L. Martin and Hartley Sawyer and they are standing outside of the Arrow cast and crew place. Why would this be? I think this is a really nice teaser for a very mini crossover. Perhaps Joe and Ralph will like pop up as, you know, their detective sides or their PI sides, you know, part of the law on Arrow for some reason this season. That's very exciting. So if you remember back to, I believe it was Arrow, like season three maybe, or season four, don't really remember. But the season where Cisco actually crosses over for a little bit, he meets Laurel for the first time, which was crazy. And so I believe something like this could be going on. They also did a similar thing for Quinton on The Flash, when they were trying to find out who the reverse Flash is, when, you know, there were bones in the ground, and they were trying to find that out. So I believe this is going to be happening. This is a new photo that was posted relatively recently, I'm fairly sure, and so I believe they're going to pop up in that sort of small role in Arrow, which is very, very exciting, so look forward to that later in the season, although it's not going to be like a full episode crossover, they will pop up probably sometime later this season, so it's a really nice teaser, but anyway, let's move on to talk about the crossovers and perhaps why they haven't been going on and why they should happen. So Emily Bet Rickards, who plays Felicity, said this maybe about a year ago or so, but I found this quote and I found it very interesting. She says, The fact that we live in separate worlds and pretend there are only one world for one episode of the year is very strange to me, she told Cinema Blend, that's the website. They should call more, and there should be more crossovers that aren't the one crossover. So I have to 100% agree, and I think a lot of you guys would agree, that it's a bit weird, like, that they come together at the exact same time, you know, give or take a few weeks, every year. And remember, they are running in a real world, obviously it's not our real world that we're used to on just our normal lives, but right? So the coincidence of it happening just this one specific time of the year is what Emily's trying to get at, that 
they should call more. There should be some more events where they have to cross over. Maybe it's not as big. Maybe it's just a bit smaller, like the Flash and Supergirl crossing over for the very first time, fighting Silver Banshee and Livewire. You know, just a matter of circumstance. So, yeah, I agree. I think it should happen more. And it's a bit weird, and a lot of you guys have keep on saying, Oh, why hasn't The Flash just come over to Arrow and stopped Damian Dark or stopped Prometheus or whoever over the past few years? It's true. It should happen. It should happen more often. And so let's move on to the next quote, and this is, in fact, from Casey Lott. She says, I'm hoping, actually, that we start to do more mini crossovers and so this was just after I believe this was in Comic Con this was just after it was announced that Legends wasn't going to be in the crossover for the main crossover of the year and yeah so she hopes we're going to be doing more mini crossovers so does Emily Bet Ricard so does lots of people so these small crossovers aren't like a massive sort of technical difficulty like doing the really long crossovers because this can be you know, just one episode on Arrow, one episode on The Flash, or one episode on The Flash, one episode on Supergirl. It isn't as hard. It obviously is more than normal, but it can happen once a year. And I really like the streak that we were going on before, where we had, obviously, every year we had The Flash and Arrow crossing over until we got the big crossovers, and that's what it's turned into. But at the same time, we had these little mini Legends ones that was happening, but then we had the nice little crossovers with The Flash and Supergirl that went on from the first time in Season 1 of Supergirl and then Season 2 of Supergirl and then it kind of stopped from there. So yeah, I would really, really like to see more crossovers, especially from Supergirl and The Flash because I think they're a really great pair and they're a really great match. And I would like to see more from The Flash and Arrow and maybe Legends and Arrow and stuff like that. I think it can definitely happen and I don't see why they're not doing it because they are massive sort of headline episodes and they will get a lot more people in which is a bit silly why they haven't been doing it I don't know maybe it's just like oh we did this massive crossover I can't be bothered you know I'm talking about the higher-ups who have to organize it all but they really should be and I really want a new musical crossover but also I want a new crossover just with you know the Flash and Supergirl just for instance in my case this has happened many times in the past but I don't see why they keep on sort of slacking off on trying to actually do these mini crossovers because it rewards fans and it you know whoever's keeping up to date with all the shows yeah I'm a bit behind on Arrow right now I'm trying to catch up but you catch up for stuff like that you always catch up and people who you know stay on track and watch all the shows and actually just have a pure passion from them it's such a reward to see them actually coming together and that's why like i said earlier in season one of supergirl when they cross over with the flash for the first time is the best experience ever for me because i didn't expect it because i totally forgot about it and then it was just amazing and so i believe they made a big mistake not doing it and hopefully they can actually rectify that very soon but it doesn't seem like we're going to have any like sort of bigger crossovers this year like big mini ones just with like two specific shows i think ralph and joe are going to actually be just quickly appearing on arrow maybe for one episode and that's about it so yeah it's a combined universe after all we should really have it combined more so than just one time a year like at least a couple of times maybe on the different shows so yeah we haven't had it in years since early 2017 i believe it was the last time that was when we had the musical crossover i think that was the last big sort of mini crossover and all we've had since then is the big crossovers which are amazing but yeah so why not have a flash and supergirl crossover next season why not have an arrow and legends crossover next season we all want it and it makes for a really good episode and they can boost ratings if they are struggling with ratings like some of these shows obviously the cw is really happy with their ratings because they're the highest for most of these shows on the network but it does if you look at even the big crossovers it like flipping quadruples the numbers so if the flash comes over to supergirl or the flash comes over to arrow it's going to boost those numbers and they like the numbers on the cw and so i don't see why not in terms of that standpoint and actually why not in terms of pleasing the fans i think we need to 
go back to these mini crossovers. So what do you think of all this? Let me know in the comments down below. Are you sad that, you know, there hasn't been any crossovers more recently in terms of the smaller ones? Do you want to see more? Perhaps which one would you like? Would you like something different? Would you like Arrow crossing over with Supergirl or something a bit more, you know, out of the normal of what we haven't seen before? Which would actually be really awesome to see Arrow and Supergirl together. So let me know in the comments down below and please be sure to subscribe, leave a like. Also, like I said, comment your opinions on all of this down below. Also, follow me on Twitter at the DC TV Show and check out my film podcast channel and also check out my film channel where we talk about lots of films, whether it's Marvel, DC, independent films, art house films, anything. We all talk about it there. So anyway, guys, I'll see you guys later. Goodbye.